In this video, we're gonna use Luminar AI. We're gonna walk through and create this street photography preset or template, and then we're gonna batch process this series of images to go from these to these final images. Hello, my friends. My name is Pi, welcome to SLR Lounge. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this tutorial. So we're in Luminar AI, and if you use Luminar, what you're gonna wanna do is download the latest version because the interface has changed, which you will see in just a moment. Also, while you're doing that, download the exercise files so that you can follow along. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So I'm gonna go into the edit module, and what we have is just six images loaded up. You can select any of these images. I'm gonna work on this motorcycle shot. So this was a series of street portraits that I did way back. I think these were shot like probably eight or nine years ago uh, out in Guangzhou in China. So I wanna actually go back and kind of edit them, make them look cohesive, and we're gonna do that with templates. Now, if you're unfamiliar with templates, it's basically a preset that you might use in another application. It's a grouping of settings that you can save to get you to a specific look. So let's go ahead and we're gonna create our own template file. Okay, so starting out, I like to start this in a little bit of a different order. So we're here on the edit side, and what I like to do is actually jump down to mood. And if you're gonna use a LUT, I usually start with that because a LUT's gonna do quite a bit to the overall look of the image. So I wanna start with a LUT, and I'm gonna start with Anaheim is super cool, Bakersfield. I kinda like that Anaheim look. I like the Long Beach look too. Has kind of a nice warmth to it. Let's see. I think we don't have to actually keep clicking on them. We can just cycle through them. Riverside, San Diego. I like all these California looks. Is it weird that I also live in California and I like it? Okay, I dig this Long Beach vibe. So let's go ahead and select Long Beach. We can adjust the amount of the preset uh, in terms of the overall color and kind of how heavy it's gonna be of this, sorry, not preset, the LUT. Um, so I'm actually gonna take the LUT up pretty high. I'm gonna take it up to about 65. I'm gonna bring the contrast down because I wanna have more specific control over contrast. And I'm gonna leave saturation also where it's at. And actually what I might do is I might tone up the saturation and then I'm gonna have fine tuning control over the HSL. The reason why I like to do this is I'm almost kind of amplifying the LUT or the look of that, that LUT that we're adding on the Long Beach look. And then I'm gonna pull back certain colors that I don't want by themselves, okay? So now let's go ahead and go up. I'm gonna go to Enhance AI and you know what? This is like built for Street Portrait. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of Accent AI. This is just gonna add a little bit more kind of oomph to the image, okay? It's, it's allowing uh, Luminar AI's little AI system to kind of do its thing. What I'm gonna do is jump down now into light. I know that didn't make any sense whatsoever, but you know, they really don't explain to me what's going on behind the hood. I just know that it adds a little special sauce that I like. Okay, so from here, I actually like the temperature. I like the exposure. I am going to just work my way down into the curves. So if your curves aren't expanded, just go ahead and expand them. This is a standard curve that you'd use in any image editing application, okay? So it works the exact same way. So I'm gonna pull down my highlights. I want my white point to be fairly low. I also want my black point to kind of gray out down here. So I'm gonna leave the black point kind of about there. And now I'm gonna start adding contrast selectively by adding another point here. And then we're gonna pull up on this side to add a bit more contrast into the image. Now at any point, I can kind of adjust contrast by pulling down the shadows or uh, pulling down the highlights. So if I pull down the shadow, it's gonna increase contrast. If I pull up on the shadows, it'll decrease contrast. Same thing on the highlight side. Pulling up will increase contrast. Pulling down is gonna decrease contrast. And this is what contrast is doing. It's essentially stretching apart the whites and blacks in an image, the bright areas and the darker areas. It's just kind of pulling apart, making them more exaggerated. But what I want here in this look is to be able to see the shadow detail. Um, so I don't wanna clip it completely. If I keep raising my black point quite a bit, it's going to end up clipping that. And at any point, if you mess up, just hit Control Z or Command Z and it'll undo. So if I select this bottom point, it's gonna start moving all of them actually. So I'm good actually right here. What I mainly wanna see is, I just don't wanna see the whole suit kind of go to black. So what I might do is raise a little bit on the shadows. Okay, the highlights look pretty good. I might pull them down just a little bit 
and I might start adding a little bit of so uh, smart contrast. Now, what I like about the smart contrast is it really looks for areas that are not people. It's looking for more of the background. It's looking for other things and it's increasing contrast in those areas. So again, another very cool kind of tool that we get with Luminar's AI. Okay, I like this. Let's go down to structure. This is a street portrait preset. So I do want to add a little bit more structure. You can kind of think of this as like a enhanced sort of mid-tone clarity. Okay, I'm going to bring the boost to about 20. Now let's get to color. Now this is where I want to tweak and refine my HSL a bit. So again, I'm going to drop down the HSL and what I'm going to do is start with hue. For the hue, I kind of want to bring my, my reds a little bit more towards the kind of orange side. So I'm going to bring them over here. I'm going to bring my oranges a little bit more towards yellows. Actually, let's bring the oranges a little bit more towards reds. Let's bring the yellows towards the orange side. Okay, so that way we're not getting this kind of like, see that line in the uh, in the road? When I go to the right side, it has really much a, a green tone to it. I want to pull it in. So it kind of blends in with like skin tones and, and other uh, warm features of the image. Now here on the greens, I don't really want greens. What I want is, is more teal. So I'm gonna push green towards the teal side. I'm gonna push cyan again towards this teal area. I'm gonna push the blues as well towards that area. So see the the kind of, I don't know what, the, oh, that's the seat of the bike. Okay, so that blue piece of the bike, it really starts to turn towards a, a green, which I like a lot. So I'm gonna leave that over here for the purples. Let's bring this over here. It's not too much of a deal on the purples and magentas because there's not a lot in these images. Plus we're gonna reduce saturation anyway. So now let's go to saturation. And this is where I wanna start bringing the reds down a bit. I wanna bring the oranges down quite a bit. So I'm gonna bring them to like negative 23, bring the yellows down a little bit. I just wanna see nice subtle yellows in the lines. I'm gonna bring the greens down dramatically. So I don't wanna see that green bag and things like that. I, it doesn't really, work with the look that I'm kind of trying to create here. Same thing with the cyans, we're gonna bring those down. Blue point, same thing. I'm gonna bring it down pretty significantly so kind of, we can still see blues, but they're very muted. Same thing on the purples, same thing on the magenta side. So if I hold down backslash, you can actually see this kind of before and after take shape. So we're getting to this sort of warm, cinematic color grade um, with kind of faded matte look. It looks really nice. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I wanna do. I do wanna do a little bit of detail work here. What I'm gonna do is just maybe edge up a tiny bit on medium. I'm just gonna go small, medium, and large, and then do a little bit more sharpening on the image. And let's see if that, that might be a little bit much on the medium and on the small side. So I'm gonna lower those. There we go, right about here is good. Okay, loving it. We don't need to do too much on the creative side. We already dialed in our mood. Um, I don't wanna do any additional toning to it. I like the way that it looks right now. That LUT already had some toning built in. If you wanted to add a second layer of toning, you could always add in an additional like shadow highlight kind of split tone look, uh, but I'm happy with it right there. So what we're gonna do now, okay, let's just take a look at this and we can also use this little slider right here, the before and after slider. And we can actually just slide that and move it over the image to see what it looks like before and after. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save this out and you'll notice that my recording icon is like right over the three dots right here. So all I'm gonna do is move this for just a second, go ahead and click right here on those three dots and we're gonna press save, okay? So we're gonna click save and then when we go back to templates, you'll see the template actually being saved out and it looks like it's saved too. I think it's the same template actually. Let's go ahead and rename and just say street portrait. Uh, let's call it cinematic street portrait. Yeah, it's the same thing. It looks like we just got a duplicate for some reason. Okay, so now going back to the catalog side, I can actually select any of the other images. I can go to templates and I can apply this cinematic street portrait. And you notice that it gets a really cool tone and look over all the images. So I'm gonna apply this real quick to all of this set. And you can just see exactly what it's gonna do. I love the way that the, the oranges kind of pop and we have this consistent color toning in the shot. It looks really cool. Has this, uh, it adds a lot of, I wanna say vibe to the image. Okay, now on some images like this, I might notice that there's a little bit too much orange. Even in this one, it might be a little bit too much. So we could always back it off a little. So if you do that, you're just gonna go back into the edit side 
So what I would do is go right back here, adjust your HSL however you desire, and then go ahead and save it again and, and just update that previous template. But I dig this. If we go back to the catalog view, you can see this nice, consistent, cohesive look between all the images. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. You guys can check out Luminar AI. We will link up the software below. Again, remember the exercise files are down below. And if you all enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more Luminar AI tutorials. All right, peace.